Okay, today we're going to cover a few um, kick counters and uh, a few um, kind of it's, it's it's kind of similar to how we move with the uh, the village shrews. This idea of kind of dodging and parrying and then hitting. Um, even uh, the idea that we have of shock and shatter um, with our kicks, where we're, we're kind of intercepting the leg with one strike, um, and of course the strike is still intended to damage the leg, and then we have the second strike that follows behind it, um, that's usually accomplished by just kind of stopping after the first kick through and sending a second strike through. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move a few um, kind of series of uh, movements with the feet uh, to kind of give you something concrete that you can use to, uh, to start the shock and shatter. So, if Chris comes up, uh, it doesn't matter which one. <laughs> Alright, so if, uh, if he has this leg forward, the first one we're going to do is a wheel kick. So we're going to do a wheel kick on the inside of the leg here, okay, across the kneecap. So what this can be used for is to open, expose the leg for attack. Okay, so say I want to take this leg and kick it out this way. I can expose it this way and then kick here, all right? So our first movement, wheel kick, lead leg joint kick, okay? If I'm on this leg, wheel kick here, lead leg joint kick here, okay? So what this can be used for is very, very effective against kicks. So if he throws uh, like a lead leg joint kick at me, I can use this to parry that leg, okay? If this one comes in, one, you see how I can stretch him with this, and now I can attack this other leg, okay? So again, just standing still. Here, one, two, okay? Here. One, two. The back leg. One, two. And usually, with the second kick, we'll stop to get, even get a little bit of distance. It's good auditory off timing, and it helps you drive a lot of power into your strike. So here, say I move in with a kick here, and he backs up. Okay. So now I take a step with this one. One, two. All right, the second set uh, is very similar. It's just a saber kick. So if he's forward here, we've got a wheel kick here, and then a saber kick here. All right, so here, wheel kick, saber kick. Wheel kick, saber kick. Good example of 
uh, the monkey style of kicking, which is this downward flowing. So we have heel, toe point, followed by knee break joint kick. Okay. So again, wheel, toe point, saber kick. Wheel, toe point, saber. Okay, staggering down. Wheel, toe point, lead leg joint kick. Okay, there's no rule that says you can't do this to uh, both legs. So if I'm here, I can do wheel, lead leg joint kick, whatever is appropriate for the situation. The idea is you plan to move with your feet exactly as you do with your hands, which is multiple strikes. You don't move in and think you're just gonna do a kick and then uh, the guy just falls over and dies. You have to throw multiple strikes. So as you move in with your hands up here, you're throwing multiple kicks as you're attacking, okay? And uh, the same idea with this, if you're moving closer, um, when you move in here, if you get too close and you're here, and you feel like you're too close to throw a kick, compact it into knees. So we're here, wheel kick, knee. Wheel kick, knee spear, you know? Here, wheel kick, knee, and then maybe down into the saber. Okay, if you're too close, it turns into knees. In the same way, if you're moving forward and the guy's too close here, I can do this motion with my knee, and then go out into the lead leg joint kick. I can do knee, toe point. I can do knee, saber. You know, reverse compact. Um, wheel kick, lead leg joint kick. Wheel, saber. And wheel to toe point. Okay? And try to, uh, like I said, Add another kick at the end of this, just for uh, for practice. So here, one, two, three. Or one, two, three. Dragon tail knee. Or start here. One, here, and then two, three, and then move in. Just to practice your balance, not necessarily for combat. Just practicing kicking from one leg, throwing multiple strikes, this way. So I'm just making up a few techniques to, um, to go with this uh, striking that we're doing with the feet today. So we're going to move in here from our kuda position. So I'm here, and one thing that I can do is, as we're fighting here, if he starts to press, I can give him this tiny little bit of space here from this kuda position to try to lure him into moving forward. So say, for instance, he's got his uh, feet a little closer together, and uh, he's up here. And I drop back, and I try to get him to shuffle forward or to take a step forward. So now this leg is uh, within perfect range. And from this position, uh, I have the luxury of being able to choose whether or not I want to come this way or come this way. So we're going to be here. One, two. Let's lead foot. Lead hand, this way. Backhand, elbow, and knee simultaneously. This one. Drop this into a saber kick. Here. Okay? So we're going to take that all the way down with the saber kick. Now this hand, the other hand, uh, is going to come in this way. And hit. And we're going to just take it back here. Okay? We'll just start with that. So again, from this kuda position here. One, two, three. Elbow and knee simultaneously, drop this down, turn them around, okay? In reality, I would probably keep the head. So here, one, two, three, four, this knee, five, here. I'd probably keep the head and move into some sort of macho or harmo type position, okay? One more time, slowly. From here, lead foot. Lead hand, back hand, here. You see how I'm keeping this leg pin? This changes the technique a little bit, all right? Come on here, one, two. As I come down here, I can pin this. So now when I come in with this knee, if he falls, I have this pin and I can maybe damage this ankle, or I can just stomp as soon as I see that happen. 
Okay, so again. One, two, three. Lean hand here. Just blast this arm out of the way. And you want to almost do this simultaneously. Here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And now here. Forearm. Okay. Use the forearm against the face. Okay, so what we're going to cover now is the wheel kick sailor kick. So again, here, wheel kick to the inside of the leg, here, or this sapu type motion where you're drawing, you're kind of pulling. So we're going to do more of a monkey technique, so we'll do, we'll do a technique that has kind of this draw. So we'll draw with this. Okay, so here, in, in, and now down. Okay? Saber kick down, right into the ground. So kind of like this. Right down and in. Okay, here. And now we're gonna say, just for the sake of uh, like technique, that he throws this punch and I have no alternative but to move with it, to bamboo with this. What I'm gonna do is take this punch here with this monkey parry, and I'm gonna slightly pull it and then completely let go of it. While I do that, I'm gonna do my female triangle footwork here, switch my feet out, and now this momentum of this strike moving back is going to continue through into the sansa blow. Here, I'm going to push this all the way through uh, to the bladder, I can come to the groin, uh, I can come up to the solar plexus, it all depends on what target is exposed for me. So here, one, two. This punch comes in and I'm not prepared for it, switch my feet out, Sansa, switch sides. Okay, so we're here. One.
this backhand is going to come in this time just to change the technique up. Because he's got this lead hand here, he might trap this up, and then this hand comes in. What we're going to do is two, two snake strikes here. Okay? So we want to use cobra fist here, cobra fist here. We're going to weave them. One, two, three, four. Right to the neck. Okay? Now from here, I can step in and attack this. I can come in here, take this this way, and this with a small saber kick. So I think snake, our uh, saber kick that we do before is this big downward, uh, you know, down on the 45. Think like to the ankle here. So we can use this as a uh, setup for a sapu. So if I'm inside here, one, two, three, four, here. I can take this this way and this this way. Saber kick here and then, and then pull it and take it with me, okay? This is a much easier way to pull out the sapu because you've got that impact as you hit and then the draw, okay? So this is kind of like a mixture of snake and crane. You have the crash in with this little snake kick and then the draw with, uh, with crane, like up to a higher posture. Okay, so we're here. I move in, one, two. Here, he throws this back hand, one, two. And hunt the bicep here, okay? Into the neck here. You can come in here and knee, okay? Now, if I want to, I can use uh, crane knees here, okay? Kind of stagger these knees like one after the other and attack the inside of this leg where I just hit with the toe point. Or we can do more of a snake type technique here. One, two. This one, three, four. These, one, two, three, four, okay? One, two. Okay, now from here, I can shuffle in with this foot into uh, it's called a slippery foot move. So what we're gonna do is kind of shuffle forward here into an attack on the ankle, a low attack on the ankle. So if I'm here, one, two, three, four, five, six. As I do this, you can see that I might be just out of range to attack the neck. So I'll move in here, okay? So here, one, two, here, three, four, and if we're slightly out of range, like I said, with this, we can slip in with this, this way, or we can slip in with a saber kick, we can slip in with a toe point to any of these targets. So I can move in and do multiple targets this way, okay? I can move in here and then turn and come up and into the groin. Obviously this would be if the situation called for that. Um, maybe if I'm here and he throws a larger strike, and I have to get out of the way, I can come up to the groin with that snake kick here. And then obviously I would turn back around and move back in with something else, okay? So again, from here, one, two, this punch comes in here, here, and then we can, uh, like I said, follow up by attacking this here, with this low saber kick, and then pull it this way. And then follow up with whatever you like. Okay, let's do this one more time. So one, two, here, three, four, five, here. Or if I'm too close and I don't need to do that, I can attack the inside of the leg here by pulling it this way. And so I'll do this slowly, and you want to pull them kind of like they're going to do the splits. This way, okay? Now I'm inside here, so I can just sit here and pummel the side of his head and even the neck here. And then I can come through this leg. Okay? And then follow the guy to the ground. 